Hey guys, Iceblox here, back with another Team Fortress 2 video, and I just want to say, I am back guys, uh, I'm very glad to be back, and I have a lot of new video ideas, and I just needed to take a break for 2-3 to three weeks for personal reasons, and so yeah, now I'm back. But today, I will be talking about the Anti-Spy Shield, also known as the Razorback. Added during the Spy vs Sniper update, this shield has the function to block a single backstab, and when backstabbed, it makes a unique sound and leaves the spy stuck in his stab animation for two seconds. And if you use this time smartly, you can kill the spy. Now, since spies have evolved to counter this, I'll tell you their methods on how they will kill you if you have the razor back. Now, the first way is they're going to use the ambassador. They're going to go for a headshot then a body shot since this is the fastest most efficient way to kill you with the ambassador. Now a way to counter counter this as a sniper is to be highly aware of your surroundings and constantly moving. Now already as a sniper it's it's best to be aware of your surroundings and be moving a lot because this is good for making sure spies don't backstab you or for snipers so it's harder for them to snipe you. Now, the second way spies try and kill you if you have the razor back is that they're going to go for a, a double stab. And what I mean by this, well, might sound already simple, but is if you're by yourself or by a corner, they're more open to this way. It's very risky for spies to do this method because, you know, like I said, it can leave them frozen in their stab animation, and that's not good for a spy. They have no ri they have less risk if you're by yourself or by a corner because they can just back off if you're on the corner then lead you into a matador or a corner stab ultimately killing you since your razorback is already down now a way for you to counter counter this way is to be more smart and aware in the situation if you have the you can't you don't have the jurati because you have the razorback equipped but if you tell your teammates that there's a spy then that's how you deal with it. Just leave the spy alone, let your teammates handle it, since you cannot really contribute to killing that spy. Now, in my last in-depth video, I covered the Machina and a good loadout to go with it. Well, the Razorback works just as fine to replace the secondary because of its abilities to block a single backstab. And so, generally, as a sniper, you won't be up close and personal in the battlefield but more in the back sniping off enemies and since you're so far in the back spies are more common to be by you because they're gonna cloak and then they're gonna go behind enemy lines and try and pick off enemies by backstepping them so that's why the Razorback is such a good secondary to have if you're gonna be back as a sniper but I can also recommend to use it basically anywhere because a chance to block a single backstab is great for a sniper. That's sniper's ultimate problem is being backstabbed. So that's what I have to say on the Razorback. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more Team Fortress 2 content. And as always, stay fresh, my freshies. Peace. Bye.